Surface Paradise houses Gold Coast's largest shopping center or mixed use Paradise Center that has fine restaurants, bars, time zone, no hotel, many, many tenants, apartments. And of course, for those who are coming here, there's parking. They had a very old ticket solution, a lot of heartaches about problems, ticket jams, loss of revenue, heavy upkeep of the solution. We had a lot of people were able to abuse the system in a way, whether they had tickets from another site, it would work on the previous system. It just didn't flow. Traffic was always a nightmare. We would uh, typically on school holidays always have to hire a traffic controller. Fear of A, the system going down, or B, someone accidentally jamming their credit card in a machine would cause massive pile ups down through our, our car park. And so the slightest mishap with the machines would cause up to 30 minutes to 45 minutes delays in our car park. That was to do with the ticketing system, yeah. Uh, people misusing it or just the ticketing machine itself faulting and you know, not taking a ticket properly. Um, yeah, multiple, multiple issues relating to the tickets themselves. Predominantly, it was always, uh, would always back up on our exit lanes. Uh, as you can see, we only have, we have two exit lanes, but they're quite small. What would happen is if one lane went down, it would back all the way up to where that yellow bollard is and then everyone would try and single file out of one lane. The problem is, is that it would start backing up down towards the bottom and there's, there's, no, there's nowhere for cars to queue at the bottom of the car park. And so we would have um, all three sides backing up with cars. <laughs> Typically when it came to the entry, uh, if we had an issue with our entry gate, we would actually just take the arm off and we would just let people come in and then we would just let them leave free of charge. It was too much of a headache to try and actually capture everyone properly. And um, in the end, and that's probably a huge reason why our, our revenue has gone up. Every time the system failed us, we would end up just taking gates off and just letting people out. And all, you could have 30, 40 cars down there and you've just lost all that revenue because we don't want to cause a scene or traffic pile up. It had gotten to that point with our previous system. It's lifespan, the technologies. People couldn't pay at the gates with, you know, FBOS, it was a cash system. It was heavily updated. We were, we were at breaking point. We needed something new, uh, something this century. <laughs> Paradise Center, Google search ticketless parking. They had, we were, I think, a third or fourth on, fourth on list. The first two, he said, they didn't answer the call. The third one said, send me an email with what you want. The fourth was Jimmy answering the call. And he said, he spent 45 minutes talking to me about and understanding what my needs and wants are. They told us their problems, what they're having with tickets, and all the revenue leak they're experiencing by having a ticketed system. So that's where I come in. You know, we had a 30 minute discovery call. I understand the current problem that they are facing which is, you know, people are losing tickets, people are getting angry because they are forced to pay like the lost ticket fee and all that stuff. There's no records or proof of what time they come in. Um, even though the user, the, the motorist is justifying that, oh, I just came in like an hour ago, but there's nothing to tie back into that. And, and this is where ticketless parking comes in, you know. When you drive in, you have a license plate on your vehicle, we know what time you come in, and we can just put out the charge on the exit. If you're under the free period or you're validated, off you go. We trust you because all the data is there for the operators to take action of what they should do uh, to, to assist you better in the car park environment. I think after Scott got off the phone call, he knew. He's like, okay, we got, we've got something here. We've got a system that, that sounds good. Look at the amount of people that come here. Surfers Paradise Center and Surfers Paradise is an icon, right? It's an iconic place. Um, they have to have something that, that works. People like to come here, smooth in, smooth out, you know, no stress. Um, guests of Novotel, shoppers at Bullies, yep. time zone, yep. guys, people with kids want to just smooth in, smooth out. Pretty That's cool. right. I think the key thing from uh, for them, it's they, they've said that, you know, they've never had good service. Therefore, we have very strict KPIs with Paradise Center to ensure that, you know, we deliver to, to what we have um, said that we are going to deliver.
and that's how uh, we managed to get them to be on board um, to sign us up and and to help you know to make that that beautiful nice shopping center in the middle of surface paradise um, parking to be easily accessible to to people that is you know visiting the area we moved away from our current service provider to take that leap of faith of someone that we hadn't heard of before, we, we just found on Google. From when I first spoke with Jimmy in a Teams meeting and I got to see the web interface and how, how it worked, uh, I knew that it was pretty good technology. Jimmy was always pretty thorough and he always had an answer for what, what Scott and I had. Uh, so no, yeah, I believe from the minute I met Jimmy that, uh, that we were in good hands. A few of the others were still skeptical, uh, so it was a huge leap of faith for all of us. And there was a couple in within the team and even the, the higher ups in the Challenger who were questioning it. But since then, I believe they're now looking to roll out this system at another one of Challenger's sites. That's how happy they are with, with how it went. So when they say that, you know what, we're going to sign you up, uh, let's review the contract, let's get the lawyer involved, I was over the moon. Being awarded a, a, one of the most prominent shopping centre on Surface Paradise is just amazing. What they told us was, you know what, this is a very busy car park, we have a lot of vehicles coming in and out. What we want to do is we want to minimise the downtime. They understand that we will have to put in new infrastructure, new power, new data for the parking equipment. And in order to get, make that happen without a downtime, honestly it's very very difficult so i sat down with my engineers we came up with plans because this is a multi-level car park because the, the um, entry and exit is on the ramp uh, what we can do is we can soft width mount the cables and all that underneath and core hole through up top and that's what we did to make sure that we have everything prepared and on the day that we were supposed to remove the old parking system and put in the new ticket solution we make it happen within 24 hours Yes, of course, the team will have to pull a 13 to 14 hours days. I am very thankful and appreciate them for that. But, you know, they make it happen. The most important part is always to be there for your client. And I feel that our customer, Dylan and Scott, they really appreciate that for the Ticklers team to be present for them. Any issue, we are just a phone call away, especially when a car park undergoes a major, major change between from ticketed to tickerless. There is a lot of hiccups. There is a lot of guidance that needs to be provided to the motorist, the user, on how to operate this parking system. And we are there for that. We hold their hands, we educate them, we help them educate the, the motorists on how to use the system to make sure that you know, the, the transfer is, is a simple process. With ticketless parking, the main probably issue that we had was just the people who have always shopped here trying to find where to put in their ticket or why they didn't get a ticket. Uh, they would drive in and sort of stop and go, the machine's gone. Not realizing that the, the gate's opened and they can just drive on in. And, and same with exiting, they would always try, oh, how, do I, how do I leave? They wouldn't understand that they've just got to pull up now, pay and leave. Um, they were so accustomed to how bad the old system was that the new system was almost too good. I knew long term what the system would do for us and I knew that it was the right move because it just it gave us modern technologies that we just didn't have on the old system. We have traffic counting now in our car park spaces, we haven't had that before. And there's flexibility with the system too. We've, we've future-proofed ourselves by going towards a system like this and it was a necessary thing. We knew that there'd be two to three months of um, customers and tenant issues and um, you know, IT um, teething processes, but we got through it. A lot of our issues and a lot of the probably initial negative feedback came from probably our Woolworths customers and the Woolworths staff team. Customers and tenants were very used to going down, showing their receipt, getting a ticket and being able to, to leave just as easy as that. Uh, moving to the new technology, having an iPad was definitely a learning curve for our customers who've been here for years on end. And the same thing applied to the Novatel as well. They had the same validation system. Now they have to have a new interface and enter the regos. And that, that took a while for everyone to learn and adapt to. But once we got past that hurdle after a month or two, it just started to flow and everyone got on board and everything just started working perfectly. Now, with this, pay, with this pay machine, um, when we first put it in, uh, we actually recommended credit card only. Yeah. But I think you guys advise us that, you know, the uh, there are a lot of cash payers. There's a lot of cash payers. Uh, in Paradise Center. Um, 
and we're like, oh really? Because we, we've noticed that with the trend, the cash has dropped down a lot in, in the car park. Pool. It was more for the initial yep. and transition. We knew that if we took cash away at the start, yep. people wouldn't adapt to it yep. as easily. But yep. as time's gone on, as I've said, noticing the trend drop, yep. people are now going, oh, I can just use my car. Yep. But I'm so, still surprised by the amount of people paying by cash. Thirty percent of your customers pay with cash. It's a lot of people, yeah. and that's why we wanted to keep all options open for you know, whatever's easier for everyone. Yep. Traveling to Paris, you know, is it cash? Is it card? It's still, a, it's still a form of payment. Yep. <laughs> how do you how do you like the outlook of the machine? Is it good. Everything the machine, clean. The signage are all okay. Yeah. yeah. Ever since we put yeah. the, the actual signage on, uh, yeah. a lot of people didn't really recognize it at the start until we did that. Ah. <laughs> but um, no, it's been good ever since. That's and good. it's a lot simpler, I think, compared to the old machine, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I yeah. think that's a good part, right? Like for license plate, with us, what you can do is you can search with like yeah. three digits. Yeah. And then it'll come up with yeah, that vehicle right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to remember your full license plate. That's correct. Right. Single yeah. visit, seven dollars. There you go, there are staff. <laughs> Thank you for accommodating us. Ah, it's all right. It's at least Thank you. We, we really appreciate it. You answer every single phone call I make you. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> this is the least hey, dude, it. that's customer service. <laughs> that's like, that's service. why that's am I <laughs> getting paid for to answer your phone call? That's for sure. <laughs> so basically, this is the custom tablet that uh, was provided by Paradise Center, and uh, we designed a software for them. Um, all the woolly shopper that shops over thirty dollars on a single yep. receipt on a single can receipt. enter their license plate into this system um, to get uh, one and a half hour free parking. I believe one hour free parking. One hour one free, hour parking, free parking, parking or, or yep. seven dollars deducted from their total, from their total bill. Of their bill. Yeah. Correct. Yep. That is correct. So that's pretty much how it works, and mm -hmm. it keeps everything simple rather than um, what scanning Having the barcode, to... scanning it. Deleting the old ticket, giving them a new ticket. Yeah. And there was a, there was a lot of hands on for the Woolworths uh, staff team. Yeah. Uh, whereas now it's just a quick sight of the receipt and then please enter your register. Cool. As easy as that. Awesome. And then it automatically validates and it's automatically applied at the that gate is correct. when they, when that they is leave. Correct. That's what we do. We simplify parking. Simplify. And since, since we've gone to the new tickler system, uh, the machines have not faulted once and we've had zero traffic pile ups way less headaches, way less phone calls. To me, no news is good news because I would always hear about the old system. Uh, the fact that I don't get a phone call at all about the new system says it's working perfectly. We want it to be focused on our asset, on our new development out the front. We want people to be drawn to the asset and not put off by, oh, it's a terrible time trying to park down there. Imagine you're having a, a very nice three-course meal and then the dessert is really bad. And what you're gonna remember from the restaurant is, oh, the, the dessert tastes bad. I'm not gonna come back again. And, and I believe like that's the last thing that you want um, for, for a shopping center. You wanna make sure that, you know, the experience from coming into the car park, shopping and out of the car park will be a nice and joyful experience for them. The old system, there was a few people who had worked it out. There was a few kinks and flaws in its design. This system, just the way that people can pay at the gate. They don't have to pay at our old ticketing machines. There's no tickets, you can't fool it. Since putting this in, our revenue's gone up quite a significant amount because it just, it forces people to, to pay. So they can't, they can't cheat it. You know, revenue might be the cherry on top or rising on the cake, but the, the real crux of this is the flexibility that we have provided with a particular well, solution. The key part is customer service. That makes Rev use that's right. That's that's the goal. That's what they, they, they should cater to all their tenants. Correct. And then revenue is just, like you said, a cherry on top. You know? I remember the first month, I think, of the system being live, the center manager, the operations manager, and myself would be down here and we would just physically watch the system and watching the traffic flow and then you know, for the center manager's point of view, I think when he noticed his revenue started going up, that was when he definitely started believing. <laughs> for sure, the revenue increase would be the main driver when it comes to the property owners. On the operations side of thing, it's less downtime for us. These machines, the boom gates themselves are more mechanically sound. The multiple cameras, so having redundancy in the cameras, it just flows a lot easier and a lot quicker. We're not relying upon hopefully the ticket going in, scanning, but boom gate opening, closing. It's just leaps and bounds ahead of what we had before. 
it just brought us to this century. It allows the traffic to flow. There's no delays. It just, people can pay at the gate, off they go. They're not even thinking about it. Where was my ticket? What did I do with that? I've lost my ticket. Now I've got to do this, now I've got to do that. It just streamlined the traffic for us. Across the board, it's just a, a win. This has been a full ticket list system and it's been phenomenal.